I will say, I, maybe I do have a funny anecdote from this weekend. So on Friday, I shaved my whole torso because it's fucking, it's getting too hot out there. Okay? I was talking about it for like a few days in advance. And then I said, you know, I'm just going to shave my whole torso. And like, this is, I'm sick of it. Like, it probably adds like two degrees onto like what it, what my torso feels like. Plus, I've been working out. So sue me. There's a little vanity involved. Now, in order to understand this, you have to understand my workflow. After I get off the Peloton, I strip down to my undies next to the bike, and I throw all my dirty gym clothes in this hamper because the, they're soaked in sweat. So I just uh, I don't want uh, them to get my regular clothes sweaty. Anyway, so I'm walking up the stairs, shaved torso, Flexing a little bit, feeling myself. My wife is in her office. She says, oh, hi, you shaved. I said, yeah. She said, I didn't know you looked like that. Daryl. <laughs> I looked this woman, in the, this woman in the windows of her soul. I looked her in her optic stems. I still don't know what it means to this day, which is tomorrow. Like, I mean, it's today, but this is one day after it. She didn't clarify at all. She said, I didn't know you look like that. It's been living in my head like rent free. Oop. Did she sound disappointed? She didn't sound as impressed with myself as I was. <laughs> So I'm like, damn, Cruz got to cut out the goldfish crackers again. You got to show us your scalp routine, bro. It, it's like a, a satin finish. It's just, my routine is just being bald. I don't do anything to my, uh, to my head, really. I just am bald. You're a pretty, I just think the wolf is a unit I've tended to underrate in general. And then next round is chocolate. How often do you shave it? Like once a week, two times a week sometimes. It's not really that often. Do you do it yourself? Yes. And if so, how? I, I do it myself. I use an electric razor, and it just works. That's what's interesting about it, it just works. But how your razor was stolen? That was a replacement razor um, for another razor I have that broke. <laughs> so I have, because I've been bald for a long time, I had an electric razor I used to use, then my wife got sick of there being like hair detritus around, so she got me one that has like a, a vacuum sucker on it. And that was great, but the battery wore out on it. So for the past two weeks, I've been using my old electric razor. And she bought me another one with a vacuum sucker. That's the one that got stolen from my front porch. Someone stole my entire tomato planter off my porch this weekend. Commercial Drive is the Badlands. You know how it is. You can't have shit in Vancouver the way of the world hey 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 we still win so real this is just they'll steal anything it's not bolted down man just i'm surprised we've never had like any plants stolen i heard that like so some of the stuff that gets stolen you're like okay what did i expect you know occasionally some shit's gonna get stolen off your patio big whoop i've heard stories of people getting their trees dug out of their front lawn and then they just got them on like the ring camera uprooting their whole tree that's the shit that pisses me off because you're like why are you stealing my tree like I, I get that you want it but like what are you gonna do with it i guess they steal it and plant it at their own house like i i, I just don't understand if you can manage to steal my tree, you can have it. <laughs> well, it's more just like, it's one of those crimes that's just like, it's marginal gain 
for the thief and extremely annoying for the person who got stolen from. That's why, like, the first, we've only been porch pirated two times. This time was annoying. The first time, they stole our dishwasher pots. I know that it's like a loot box. They don't know what they're getting. But, like, imagine we needed dishwasher pods to do our dishes. They stole our dishwasher pods. I think it's unlikely that they have a compatible dishwasher. So they probably just, like, opened the box and then said, what is this garbage? And then hucked it, like, two blocks from our house. What did they steal the second time? My electric razor and two cat litter boxes, which is like also pretty annoying. The police care. Ha ha ha. ha. I get it. That's how I feel whenever like the Tesla Model 3 in our parking garage records me just getting out of my car. Every time I walk by it, the headlights turn on and I see the little HAL 9000 recording icon on the screen in the center. And I'm like, buddy, you're, I think you're wasting your battery life. Even if someone breaks into our parking garage, smashes your car window, puts their face up to the camera, and steals like half the shit in your car, the police aren't going to do anything with it. How do I know? Because this is what happened to us when they stole our damn uh, micro SD card from, from our car. Ring, ring, ring. Hello, uh, non-emergency line. Hi, uh, someone broke into my car and stole my winter coat. Me talking to the officer. So give it to me straight, constable. What percentage of these missing winter coat cases do you guys tend to find the victim unscathed? A hundred percent. No! Anyway, that's all I got. Those are my only anecdotes. Don't steal the copper wires from my electric razor. Like, I don't know how much copper is in the electric razor. If you're going to steal my razor, just knock on my door. I'll give you the amount of money that is like equivalent to the amount of copper in the razor. I'm sure it might be like a few bucks and then it saves me from having to buy a new electric razor and it saves you from having to like sell the copper.